Hi, I'm Michael Welch, and this is a Life of the Day video, July 24, 2010. Today is just a typical summer day on the east end of beautiful Panama City Beach, Florida. The winds are calm, the water is a cool, crystal clear, emerald green, and there's plenty of sunshine. The sea oats sway gently in the breeze, and the fresh smell of salt water fills the air. This is a day you can relax and just let the sun soak deep into your soul or cool off in the water while the gentle waves rock across your body. This is my hometown. This is a place I love. This is what brings a smile to my face and keeps me laughing. I guess you could say I've got sand in my pockets and salt water running through my veins. You know, it's easy to see why people love vacation here. Panama City Beach is a great place to bring the family. It has about 27 miles of sparkling white sandy beaches. There's a tremendous variety of attractions and things to do. From all kinds of water sports, boating, scuba diving, and the fishing is fantastic. And dining on fresh Gulf seafood, that's my favorite. There's a lot of ways to enjoy yourself, for free or nearly for free. If people watching is your thing, you'll find numerous activities and all types of people to observe. It's a great place to have a picnic, toss a frisbee, spend the day relaxing or photographing or drawing the subjects that you love. When you take a closer look around at all this area has to offer, the Gulf of Mexico, the beaches, the rare coastal dune lakes, and the magnificent St. Andrew Bay, it's hard to find more beautiful beach in the world. This is truly a remarkable place, but it can't be taken for granted. What I fear the most is we may lose this for future generations. I couldn't imagine my great-grandchildren not being able to see these beaches in their pristine condition. But without better control of environmental disasters, like the Gulf oil spill, sadly, that could happen in my lifetime. 